Welcome back to another WinLink how-to video. Today we're going to use a peer-to-peer -peer. and the first thing that we need to use peer-to-peer -peer is we're going to need the software packet radio TNC. All I did was Google sound modem. So in your search engine of choice you look up sound modem and look for UZ7HO. And there's the link right there. It's UZ7.HO.UA. And that will take you to the website. At the bottom, you'll see sound modem. And as it stands right now is 114.zip. You will download that zip file. And then you'll unzip it. And you can unzip it straight into your downloads folder. And once you do that, just move the soundmodem.exe file itself to wherever you want to keep it. I keep mine on my desktop, but you can put it wherever. Just remember where you put it. So when you open WinLink Express, we're going to do a packet peer-to-peer -peer session. So when you click Open Session for the first time, Soundmodem may not open right away. So what you're going to do is go to settings and you're, you're going to select the TNC connection which is keep it simple smarty or the KISS mode. You're going to do the model is going to be normal and for your serial port you're going to use TCP and it should automatically fill in 127. Well, it's going to put your home in there for your host and then the port number should be 8100. But right here for your packet sound modem, you're gonna click browse and then go to the location that has soundmodem.exe. You'll select that and click open and then it should populate right here. And then you automatically launch the packet and sound mode, packet sound modem. The rest of these should be set to similar settings. You don't have to copy what I have here. I changed these at some point in time, so your 1200 baud may look a little bit different. It is recommended to enable iPole for your whichever mode you're going to use. You can do 9600, I think, if you're on VHF and above. I'm just going to use 1200 for now. And the rest of this can just stay the same. So we'll click update. I'm going to hit cancel because I didn't change anything. Now, once sound modem opens, you have a few settings over here. This does not work in Windows 11. I don't know why, but I can click it and it doesn't do anything. On devices, that is where you're going to get your sound card. So for my sound card, I'm using the DigiRig. And I'm using an a a HT. I'm using my Yaesu FT60 right now at the kitchen table. So there's the DigiRig. There's the radio set to the frequency that we are going to use, 145070. And you open your squelch all the way up so that it is constantly receiving. And you can see that I have a high noise level on VHF. And then... Over here on your computer, you'll select your sound device. I know that my PTT is COM3. That is also going to be the DigiRig. And so your whatever you're going to use may have different settings, but for the DigiRig, which I have here, it is set up that way. And what we can do is we're going to click OK, and we'll go look at another one in just a minute. So the next thing is modems. This is where your TX delay will need to be set to a higher number. So I'm going to move mine to 500, which I believe was the original setting. I set it at 2500. That was the only way I could get my boof wang to actually work. So we're going to click OK. Everything else should be pretty much the same. I think KISS optimization might need to be selected for your modem A. Don't worry about modem B. Modem A is the one that's the most important. And that's really all that you'll need for this. Now let's go look at 
my other, let's look at my other radio. This is in the shack. I'm accessing it remotely. So the same settings here, it's exactly the same. So we'll hit cancel. And then the settings here, and this is also Windows 11, input and output volume doesn't do anything in the sound modem. So devices is the same thing. It's 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 a uh, signal link that's in the other room. So its PTT is none because a signal link does all of that based on the incoming audio. So this will look a little bit different. The one thing that I did select was color waterfall. I'm glad I saw that. So click OK there. And then you go to modems and you can also see that I had 2.5 milliseconds even from the transmitting station, because the transmitting station also has to send it a little bit slower for Yabufwang. So the UV5Rs and stuff like that, for some reason, mine has an issue. Your mileage may vary, but mine was a little bit different. Now, what we're gonna do is to set this up for a direct, which is peer-to-peer, -peer, we're gonna use my club call sign which I have on my computer and they whoever your peer is also has to have their modem open and ready to go so there is some coordination that does have to happen between the two stations so if I wanted to connect let's say that we're here at, at home and I want to connect to the club I'm gonna click start and then we should on the other side see a connection so it connected and it's gonna communicate back and forth it shouldn't find anything but occasionally the radio goes into transmit mode you can see it transmit and now it's receiving and there it transmitted another piece of information and you can also see the same thing happening on this side so let's go ahead and prepare a message since you've seen how to do that let's prepare a message to send in winlink so peer to peer is a little bit different you cannot send messages to anybody else except for who's on the peer-to-peer. -peer. So I'm sending this from the club, and you have to select it as a peer-to-peer -peer message. And then you type in the email, or in this case, the call sign, because you cannot, it, they're not connected to the internet, so it's not gonna relay any messages. So it's a little bit different than using the WinLink system this is just a peer-to-peer -peer connection and we're using VHF to do it. You can also do peer-to-peer -peer over HF. So if you've got somebody across the country you want to try to make a connection with, that's one way you could do it. And again, in the event of an emergency, if you lose internet connection, having a plan set beforehand with whomever you want to communicate with that is what you need to create. So let's say that your friend Jim out in Arizona and you live in Georgia, you let Jim out in Arizona know, hey, if if we lose connectivity, I, I will set up my peer-to-peer -to, -peer to listen on this frequency. So then you we'll get back to type in the email. We'll say subject, just a checkup. Now, this does not go through the WinLink system. This is just going between the two computers. So it's, it's a little bit different. It's not stored in the WinLink server. So I'm gonna keep the message short and say, testing one, two, buckle my shoe from me. And now what you're gonna do is post this to your outbox, just like a normal message. Make sure that it is peer-to-peer, -peer. otherwise it will not touch it in a peer-to-peer -peer WinLink session. So what we're going to try to do now is from my desktop that I'm sitting at currently, 
I'm going to click start and we're going to watch down here. It looks like things are working a lot better. It's connected. And now let's see. Yep. Boom. It just transferred an email. Let's watch it disconnect. So this is really happening. I'm really doing the this time. There's no play, play, and pretend like in my other videos where I just pretended to do it. Now let's look over here. Boom. Inbox. One unread. We have an email. Testing. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Me. And so I was able to send this peer-to-peer to me. So if we want to reply, there's two ways to reply. You could do that and hit reply, or this is also a reply. Notice that it is peer-to-peer -peer message, and we're going to just say, um, cool, three, four, shut the door. Also me. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to post that to your outbox. Now, here's what I'm not sure of. What if I wanted to check and see if you had already sent an email? Um, let's see what happens if we go to the modem and click start. Now, I'm experimenting at this point. I mean, I showed you the basics of it. So this says Ford KQ4DMQ. It says, so see, it just checked the mail on the other one. Now, on this side, I could have sent the message. But in this case, I checked it from WinLink itself. And here we go. It's, I mean, you can see all the header information. Reply to just a checkup. Three, four, shut de do. Also me. So that is one more mode that we can use is packet peer-to-peer -peer. and that is all it takes it's actually quite simple the more difficult part is going to be your setup between your computer and your radio i'm robbie w1rcp and i've shown you something else i hope that has been helpful and if you have more than one radio you can test this out at your own qth your own home if this video has been super helpful, please consider giving to the channel by subscribing, liking the video that you just watched, making a comment, or you could join the channel. I have three levels of membership, and level number two gives you early access to all of my videos that I post, and also gets you put into the credits for any future videos made after you join. 73 and have a good time.